Pra did comments. What is the most extreme game of truth or dare that you ever played as a teen? NSFW. I was present, but not playing, for a game between a super close friend group, where the stakes were, if you don't do it, we'll never talk to you again. These people were basically family, and continue to be annoyingly close even now, nearly 15 years later. Dares escalated past drinking from a cup of your own pee, fulfilled, to a guy being dared to eat a piece of his own poop with a fork and knife. Got so far as to have a log on a plate in front of him, but he backed down, and couldn't do it. They literally kicked him out of the house, and haven't spoken to him, since 2002. When I was 12, we played a hybrid of truth or dare and spin the bottle. One of the rules was, if you had to kiss someone, you could choose to lick their cheek instead. So it was my crush's turn to kiss me, and she went for the cheek lick and I went for the kiss and she licked my mouth. It was so freaking hot. So I was staying the night at a bud's house. Another friend was also staying the night. We will call him Keith. The three of us started up a game of truth or dare with the friend's two sisters that live there also. Mostly juvenile dares and mild truths. Out of the blue Keith dares the guys, including himself, to jerk off onto a cookie and the last one to comes has to eat the cookie. It was total silence and disbelief. We ended the game after that. He tried to play it off as joking, but came out as gay a few years later. Similar. I played a game of wishbone with one of my past girlfriends. We each held a side of the wishbone and pulled it apart. The person with the smaller piece lost. The bet was that if I lost I would have to pierce my PP and if my girlfriend lost she would have to pierce her labia. Jesus was not present that night, which is a shame since he should know one thing or two about piercing. We were 14 playing truth or dare on an app with NSFW questions turned on. One of my friends was dared to give a BJ. Now, obviously we couldn't do that. There were no boys and besides, we were 14. So what did she do? She gave a BJ to a carrot we found in the fridge. So, way back when in middle school, I was at a slumber party. We went out to eat, and it was an all night truth or dare. As a backstory, I was super into this one guy, and he was at the party. So when Dare came around to me, I hoped for something to happen like in the movies. Nope. All of my cock blocking friends had me eat a flower, roll in the snow in only undergarments, and pick my nose while screaming I'm in love with a stripper. He never talked to me again. Worst wing women ever. My hippie dippy college dorm made the whole dorm play truth or dare as an icebreaker activity the first day of my sophomore year. I wound up making out with everyone in the dorm, 18 people, mooning a professor, pissing off the library balcony, and streaked through the dining hall while parents were still around. We weren't allowed to do that as an official activity anymore. All one time in my house we made my roommate give a detailed analysis of how he'd frick every person in the house. He promptly did. It was a bit uncomfortable, but that's the point, I think. I got a couple. I went camping with some of my friends, plus we had access to a ton of food. My friend ended up drinking a cocktail of orange juice, olive oil, Pam cooking spray, and coffee grounds from a half-melted styrofoam cup that was cooked over the fire. He threw up shortly afterwards. About a year or two later I got the same friend to lick the wheel of my skateboard. For good measure, he rubbed some more dirt onto it and gave the wheel a good spin while licking it. There was a giant black spot on his tongue. Probably one of the best ones is when we got another kid to go up to another campsite. We knew the people there and walk into the cabin, hug another kid and say goodnight, daddy, and walk out. We had another kid go with him to make sure he did it. Oh boy. I'm gonna win this. Story 1. 6th grade. Truth. Or dare commenced in the normal fashion with silly dares such as eating odd concoctions, doing embarrassing dances, or calling crushes. All was well until someone decided that is, would be a grand idea to dare me to get naked in the woods. In the spirit of fun, I obliged. Of course I knew they would take my clothes. That would be expected, but what I did not anticipate was my friend's mother coming out to check on us. She remained unaware of our mischief, only because my friend ran up claiming she has a sunburn and required aloe vera immediately. Story 2, 7th grade, by this point in my life, edgier truth or dare was common. 
As 7th grade girls we all felt the need to rebel a little. Everyone wanted to receive the dirty dares, but no one wanted to hand them out. So, I got the bright idea to write them all down and then draw the dares out of a bag. That way, no one would know who came up with the dare. We had a blast that night and soon after fell asleep. What we didn't know was that my father had gone downstairs in the middle of the night and found the bag of dares. Needless to say, he kept them and they will most likely resurface on my wedding day. Story 3, 8th grade, on our way to high school, my group of friends felt perfectly comfortable with Dirty Truth of Dare. We began playing, and at some point, I was dared to go into a closet and get naked. Once again, I knew my clothes would be long gone, but went with it anyways. I got into the closet, handed them my clothes, and pretended to be surprised when they were not returned. Then, my father started down the steps. My clothes were not returned at this point. Instead, everyone rushed back to the couch, leaving me all alone. I tried to listen to the conversation from within the closet, but couldn't hear well. Finally, I heard my dad say, in what seemed to be an angry voice, where is she? Doing the only logical thing, I found a sleeping bag in the closet, and hopped out screaming it was only a dare. I later found out, that my friends had all covered for me quite sufficiently, until I blew my cover. I was 16. Lived in a neighborhood with some kids, who were about the same age. My best friend, who we will call James, was my age. It was summer break, and we had grabbed a tent from my buddy's basement and set it up out in the woods less than a mile from our houses. We had let some folks in on it, we were using the tent to frick around, and have fun with a few select friends. There were these two girls who we will call Amy and Beth. They were a year older than us, twins but not identical. They were, in our eyes, tens and neither James nor I thought we had any business getting with them. When you're young and stupid you have no idea if you're attractive or not, and it turns out we both were attractive as well, but we really lacked the insight to know that at the time. To James and I, we were just two losers. Anyway, James worked at a grocery store and had scored some beer. We were trying to move that covertly to the tent area when Amy saw us walking on the road while she was on her bike. She stopped to talk, the clinking of the bottles in the backpack became evident, and she grilled us about it. We told her what we had, and where we were going kind of laughing it off, hoping she won't rat us out. To our amazement she invited herself, and her sister to the tent. We played a nice mix of truth or dare or spin the bottle and the dares got progressively more risky. I distinctly remember Amy down to just hand bra and shorts. Beth was sitting on James lap half the time up until that point and I chose dare. The girls conferred for a bit and decided that if I blew James they would have shreks with us. I asked for clarity and they negotiated down to just getting James blick in my mouth. It was pretty gag worthy but these girls were smoking. I was definitely not into the idea, but James immediately pulls his blick out at full staff, so that's when I realized James wasn't entirely straight. I'm still 90% sure I'm not going to do it, when my mouth goes dry, and I looked at his blick, it's freaking massive, James is totally packing. It was to the point that Beth and Amy said what the flip. I asked how long it is, James says about tree footy. I'm pretty confused, it's unusually smooth and pink, and comes to a fine point. At that moment I looked up, and figured out that James was about 500 feet tall, and from the Paleolithic era. So we wrapped it up, and went home after that. I was smart enough now to take part in this but, I was with a large group of male friends, who were all given dares, to give blowjobs to the bar of a bench press. The guy who had given the dare timed each one for 30 seconds and made them really get into it. Doesn't seem that gross at first, but after about 4 guys had sucked on a metal bar, you really don't want to have to There was a guy who was dared to eat a slug by his friends. If he did, they would give him $50. He just came out of hospital the other week after 2 years. He is currently learning how to talk again, 